everybody. Um, I am going to be doing a four-part series in honor of the um, sponsor from last month's hop. I went a little crazy and bought a bunch of stuff off of their website, and I decided I wanted to feature more than one product. So I'm going to do a month-long um, sort of hop video, um, four videos total in a series, all on this month, the July theme, which is Christmas in July which is an excellent opportunity to get all of your Christmas cards made at a time when you're less busy. Well, I don't know if we're less busy in the summer, but we certainly aren't preparing for Christmas in the summer, right? So it's a good time to uh, make a bunch of Christmas cards. So I'm going to feature cards that are quick and easy to make, that you can um, make several of them, and, you know, like four or five all at once. So in four weeks, you will you will be able to make, you know, like 20 cards, which at least in my world, that's enough <laughs> um, for Christmas. But uh, I'm also going to offer a reward. If you watch all four videos and comment on all four videos, you'll be entered to win a $20 gift certificate to the Scrapping for Less website. So today I'm going to feature a product that I got from Kaiser Craft. I love, 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 love Kaiser Craft paper. Um, it's right up there for me with Graphic 45 and Bow Bunny. Those are my three favorite companies, I think. So this is a, um, a Kaiser craft pad, and you can see it's clearly not Christmas, but we're going to do something Christmassy with it. Um, this pad is super fun because it comes with little punch outs. You could make cards just out of this pad um, without having to go outside of the pad. It also, this is like foiled. It has decorative papers in it. Um, and I, and I got it from a discount at Scrapbooking for Less, which is really great. So that one has foiling or um, glossy. It's just a super cute pad. This this paper is glossy. Um, and I like it. It seems very versatile. And that was one of the reasons I purchased it. And one of the cool things about paper that's not necessarily Christmas themed is if you um, are a little creative in your thinking, you can totally make a Christmas card out of um, paper that is not necessarily Christmas themed. So this is what I'm going to do today. I've got all my pieces cut. I chose this piece, that glossy piece, and I chose this denim piece. And I'm going to use the little rip section to highlight my greeting. Um, and then just some white cardstock. So you can see I've got all my white cardstock. So I'm going to start just on this little panel right here. And I've just got some, I mean, you can't purchase these anymore. I think they came from a company. This is Angel Company stamps. That's right. So they're no longer in business, but they're just you. Anybody, you, any um, snowflake stamp will do. I mean, obviously, you guys, everybody's got snowflake stamps. If you don't, you probably should. And they're readily available. So, and I'm just going to use my Versamark and put snowflakes all over in the background. And you certainly wouldn't need this um, paper to do this. The idea is just to leave a window. You could you could even mask this off with like a little sticky note and just not have to carefully um, stamp around it even. And just do an overall pattern and verse mark on what's denim paper, but even like a navy paper would work. I'm going to use this um, holographic embossing powder by Ranger. Just put it all over. And now I can see that I'm missing one right here. So I'm going to come and just grab this and just put another couple little Right, just like that. All over, real simple and quick. Like I said, you could mask it. Um, if you had a large background and a lot of stamps, you could easily just do like even a quarter sheet of paper or a whole sheet of paper and then cut them up. So now I'm going to quickly heat this. Um, when you're working with when you're working with glitter. <clears throat> Thank you. 
it's good to heat it from the back side so the glitter doesn't all fly off. And also another thing, glitter burns very easily. So when you're working with this holographic type um, embossing papers, you wanna work quickly. And the very second it's heated, you wanna move on. There, I think I got it started. So there you go, just a quick, it's just covered with glitter, very easy. And then I've just got a small greeting, just a little Noel. And I'm gonna use Ranger's Archival Ink, just one of my go-to inks because it's for my mixed media. And just stamp that right on that place where it's sort of part of the design paper. But again, like I said, if you didn't have this particular exact design paper, you could just take a little sticky note and mask that off and just do that. Right, gonna layer them up. Use my quick dry. I've talked to you about the fact that I live in Alabama and we have a lot of humidity here and um, dry stick adhesives can be kind of a problem in those kind of environments. Let me see if I can get this to come down. There we go. Just gonna make a little frame here. I cut this just an eighth of an inch bigger, or a quarter of an inch bigger. No, it was an eighth of an inch bigger. So I just had a little tiny, um, a little tiny frame. Okay, then on this beautiful design paper, And certainly you could do this in less layers if you wanted to. You could just do a one layer card if you wanted to. Um, and then onto the backing. Very simple. Things that make this a good card for um, holiday gift giving. It was quick. It used um, relatively few products, just a pad and a couple stamps. Um, and it's very flat, so it's gonna mail easily for the normal amount of money. You're not going to have to put extra money in there um, to mail this simple card. All right, so I hope you like my first installment of the Scrapping for Less um, July Christmas in July themed um, challenge. So get your stamps out, make some Christmas cards, get some of your Christmas gift giving out of the way now so that when you come to December, you can enjoy December and all the things that um, spend your time with your family and, and decorating your house and baking cookies and doing fun things as opposed to just doing all of your gift giving stuff that um, distracts you from those family, fun family um, events. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.